Who was that? New neighbor. We should have her over for dinner sometime. And her husband. Why don't you say you and I go downtown for some dinner? Are you sure? I'd like that. I won't be long getting ready. Beg your pardon for the intrusion, ma'am. Seems I have uh, gotten myself lost at some turn down the line. Where is it you're off to? <laughs> now that's a good question. Where do you need to go? Well, we got lost leaving the city, and we need to get back on the highway. A quarter mile down the road. At a crossroads, take a right. That'll bring you to the highway and take you out of town. Maybe there's some steak knives I could interest you in. Go on now. I told you the way out. You and your boy ought to be on your way. Hey, uh, we're not trying to swindle you or anything, miss. My apologies, ma'am. We're working men, as you can likely tell, and selling quality knives, that's my business. All right, then. That's the way it is. I see. Would it be all right if I picked a couple of those flowers for my mother? It would mean the world to her. You like flowers, do you? Well, I like those. Some of the finest peonies I've ever laid eyes on. Oh, I'm impressed. The name's Dean. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Catherine. Don't mind the dirt. Like I said, we're working men. Sorry to trouble you today, Catherine. Hang on. I'll go put some flowers in a vase. For your mum. Now, you sure you don't have any knives that need sharpening in that fine house of yours, do you? How much to sharpen a knife? Five dollars even will do just fine. Mind the ants on the buds. They like the nectar. Oh, yeah. You got that, Jack? Oh, yeah. I got it. You'd better have that. They're for you, not for him. <laughs> Sharp enough to split a hair. Thank you. Well, well, Miss Catherine, it's been a pleasure meeting you here on this lovely afternoon. What were those grifters looking for? They were trying to sell knives. You bought knives, didn't you? 
You know what guys like that do? They break into people's homes and they steal things.